Hi everyone. So we have, or we rather, I have um, the April box from Art Atelier. I know it's June, but the box was delayed and by no fault of Art Atelier. The reason why it was delayed from China is because of the, um, you know, that barge, or not barge, but that ship that got stuck in the Suez Canal over there in the Middle East. Well, that particular box, I mean, box, that ship caused so much of a delay of a lot of stuff that was being sent to China that when they finally got all the stuff there, um, everything else was being delayed because it was being flown out. This is what, from what I understand, what Rosie had said. So like stuff that was originally supposed to go out in LA actually had to be put to the side. That or they were just so much stuff that they had to sort. It took that long. So anyways, yeah, I finally got my box. I'm pretty sure everybody that ordered for the, you know, for the month of April probably have already gotten their box. And I mean, it is what it is, you know, with COVID um, happening, with the pandemic happening, a lot of stuff from China is taking a lot longer to come out than it used to. Um, like for instance, I've already ordered, I'd ordered the box and, you know, the May box and it's still sitting over at, um, I guess some processing place in um, Shanghai, waiting to be loaded on to, you know, to the plane. And that was as of May 15th. So who knows when I'm gonna get that. Probably won't get it until, <laughs> um, probably until I get the June box. I've just ordered the June box and those will be shipping out this week from according to Rosie. So just really excited to see what I'm gonna get. Okay. It's been so long now, I don't even remember what was in the April box. Although, this does give you um, an idea. So it's, obviously it's music themed, okay? So, well, I'll just turn that over. Let's go ahead and take everything out, okay? And go through it. Okay, so we're gonna start with, as usual, the, um, here is the washi. And everything is always wrapped beautifully. Okay, so this is supposed to be, I wanna say it's music related, but I can't remember now. You know? Ugh, I should have kept one of my plastic bags here. Okay, so here we go. It's very kind of Baroque looking. If I can find, I cut my nails. So now I have nothing here to peel. Okay, here we go, and I'll probably ruin my nail polish that I put on last night. So just grabbing the edge here carefully off camera. Sorry. Great. See now it's tearing. Here we go. All right. Ugh. Oh, I see. So it looks like that. Yeah, that's actually interesting. I was not expecting it to look like that. <laughs> but that's interesting. I like the color of it too, it's faded. All right, next one. This one is the stamp block. I, always, I love the fact that I always get a stamp block every month, you know? I mean, this one, and this one's nice. It is, what does it say here? not sure but i'll go ahead and get a close give you guys a close look there you go so yeah really pretty rubber stamp Ugh, okay so then we also have what these are oh here we go looks like it's i'm not sure which composer let's start Probably Mozart, I think. Chopin, sorry, Chopin, now I see it. So yeah, it says it on the cards here. Really pretty, okay. Okay, so my battery went dead. So I just changed it, okay. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Um, this is a an acrylic stamp. It's the one that was on the front here. So this is what it looks like and um, really, really pretty. 
Okay, so moving on to the next item. I've got a lot of cutouts here, die cuts, I can see, and um, other loose pieces. So I'm just going to pull out, oh wow, let me pull these, this one out slowly. Okay, there we go. So we've got this beautiful ballerina. Okay over here that like they're so delicate another one and then I love the colors of this particular collection because we've got the muted greens so that's supposed to be I guess me <laughs> Biloxi City Diary have you ever been to Biloxi I have okay so you know we've got some Ephemera pieces, we got a uh, clear check, vellum, sorry, not focusing very well. I guess you can't see it because it's, it is clear. Um, yeah, just, uh, I don't even know if I'm on, I wasn't looking at the camera here, so sorry if you didn't see that if it was off screen. More pieces, uh, let's get you focused. Um, so this is some um, handmade paper, I'm pretty sure that Rosie has made She's been including a lot of that into her um, kits. We've got a little pad here that's got, ah, I'm not sure if I even pronounce that right. Bird loves to hear himself sing. Must be some phrase from somewhere. Got a little envelope here, vintage envelope. Um, and some music note paper. And oh, this is pretty. Some reproductions of like, little um, music sheets so see there's some more vellum here and it's really hard to show I need to include like a dark piece of paper which I'm looking around and I don't see so we'll just yeah and you can't see it on this either but anyways trust me this one is supposed to be um, music notes and this one same thing except it's other way around there we go it says parrots and the music notes um, what else there's a third one here which I didn't see because it was so light. We've got, look at that, Steinway. We actually have a Steinway, the piano that we have. My parents one, made sure that when they purchased this piano back in the 1970, when did they purchase this? Was it after my brother was born? I wanna say that they purchased this after my brother was born. It was a, it's a Steinway and it still works. Um, my mom has to get it tuned from time to time now because, um, you know, they, I mean, they are a firm believer that Steinway are the best pianos. I don't even think they make the type of piano that we have anymore um, from what I understand. So I think that once my parents pass, that piano is probably going to go to my sister Stephanie because she wants it really bad. She's the one, she, likes, she still plays the piano. Uh, my other sister, Charlie, the youngest one, she plays, she still remembers how to play, but she doesn't have one because Stephanie, um, she has her daughters taking piano lessons like the way she does, but I think they enjoy playing it. I, I don't know. I mean, I just hated playing it because, you know, when you practice, you practice, practice, and it's like, when you, you know, when you feel like you're going to get it, it's going to work. You're going to get the whole piece. You're going to get through the whole piece without messing up. You mess up. And it's like you have to start over again. I mean, it's not that you have to, but you feel like you need to. And I would just get so frustrated. I just like, just did not want to do it anymore. It wasn't, it was never fun for me. That's the thing. So that's what I had to do to convince my mom. It's like, I just hate it. I don't want to do it anymore. I had to put up a big fuss over it just to get her to, you know, stop forcing me to go to the lessons um she also forced our brother to go and he was just so bad at it she just gave up on him <laughs> she didn't force him as long as she did me there was another ballerina um i love these little labels here and there's some other pieces these are all stickers yeah so we got a lot of vintage labels okay some more Smaller sticker piece, uh, pieces, um, 
some vellum ones. Uh, this one's kind of weird. I don't know why that's in there. Um, it doesn't kind of, it doesn't match. So we have like other like almost like collage piece, pieces in a way and they're stickers too. Um, I've got more stickers. They're just like vintage uh, letters of some sort or invoices. Not sure what that is. This one is cool. It's some kind of fiber. Look at that. See that? Probably looks better here. Yeah, that is awesome. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that, but that's still cool. More sheet music paper. I remember when I was taking lessons, I, I mean, I, not now. I, I do not remember how to read music. But I remember she would have me copy it down onto my piano teacher at the time, onto sheets, you know, to make sure that we could read it. We knew what we were playing. Um, some clear stickers. So my mom, she never actually took lessons, believe it or not. Um, when she, she learned how to play by just, I don't know, I think her mother taught her like a couple of piano pieces, but I don't think even my grandmother knew how to like actually play, like read music. It's by ear. My dad, he does not know how to play, but he would sit, he can sit at the piano and sound something out. So, um, <clears throat> Like he could, he could like any song, he could just sit there and then just like start sounding it out on the piano, you know, but also he never took any lessons. Okay, and this is the last one. So we got another piece of fiber there, circle. Now this stuff is on handmade paper. It's in, it just amazes me how she's able to print on this stuff. So we've got this, love that some more sheet music. Aha, this one's cool. About the different types of pianos, I guess, in a piano factory. And then we've got the various fiber, um, handmade paper. Oh, I love this, see that green? Yeah, that's why I bought this kit, because I just love the colors. This one's got a little sparkle to it, and then we've got some vintage looking um, piano sheets here. So yeah, this is the April kit. Um, I'm trying to remember what's in the May kit now because the June kit is supposed to be um, another botanical related um, or theme. And I guess that one was pretty popular because Rosie said that it was gonna take her a bit longer to ship out because she had so many orders of it. So I'm trying to think of what was May. May was something special and I can't remember now. Um, just hoping that we get the box. This took me literally almost two months to get. Yeah, 57 days, because I was keeping track. Um, so I'm just hoping that May's box does not take that long. God forbid, I don't want to wait that long. So I'll go ahead and put all of this away. So I don't like leaving it all just out like that. I'm starting to de-box everything. Before I was keeping everything in each box, but now I'm like, you know, I'm over it because it, the boxes are taking up a lot of spaces, space, excuse me. And I've just been sorting them by stamp and then by ephemera and oh, by washi also. So that way it makes me want, to, it makes me use it because the boxes are just sitting there and I don't see it, then, you know, out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. So, yeah, gotta start using my stuff, you know? But anyways, um, I hope you all are having a good week and I will catch you on the next haul. Bye.